welcome back to Mom and Jess Online Talk Show, another sensitive episode in the Life Transforming series. So we're treating malice, envy, and jealousy in this episode. Um, sit back and catch up with this um, episode as we feature Mama Ajadi later in the day. So in the meantime, we just want to introduce the topic and say one or two things about it. You know, it's quite sensitive because this is something that happens to even we Christian believers. People we see in the church, people we think that are brethren, you know, I'm not counting myself out. Sometimes you might even be developing that spirit of jealousy you might not know. You know, admiring what somebody has, forgetting that you also have your own. It might be possessions, it might be character, it might be the way the person carries herself or himself. It might be the person's personal achievement. Though one thing I, I can speak for myself is that I grew up as a very contented person. I might not have all the qualities in the world, but I know that one thing, one value my daddy inculcated in us as children is to be very contented with what you have. Be very contented with what you have. You know, so it helps us, especially when we find that envious spirit. In social media, celebrities are you know making waves. And we sometimes even get carried away. Some people might just watch a celebrity and how she's spending money or he's spending money and start getting depressed over it. So this topic we're treating is for you to reflect on yourself. If you find that tendency in you to easily compare yourself with other people by means of self-pity, um, insecurity, you know, these tendencies can start a little bit. You have to keep checking yourself, you know. I constantly do it and I pray that we all do it. When you find yourself pitying yourself a lot, why should you be pitying yourself? You have to find what God has gifted you with and use it to the glory of God. You know, we are blessed with different ministries, we are blessed with different talents, we are, we are all blessed with different gifts. You discover yours and use it to the glory of God. So let me stop here and let's hear what Jess has to add concerning this topic. So, um, being jealous is a very bad thing, but everyone still like does it. Like I mean, everyone once in a while you just go onto social media and all of a sudden you just see people spending money like if it grows on trees, and then we get all jealous. Or maybe about someone's lifestyle, or maybe about what they have and what we don't have. So my advice to you is that no one can have everything in the world. Like. Mm -hmm. If you're rich, you might not be happy, and if you're happy, you might not be rich. It's just like that, and that's how God wanted the world to be. But anyway, when we go to heaven, we can have everything that oh, yeah. we needed. Like, we will have golden mansions, and we'll still be happy. So anyway, um, as I said, being jealous is very bad, because then we're giving the impression that what God has done for us is not enough, and we need more. And I feel that if we if we need more, we should just go to God in prayer. It's just like when you see, like for me, um, when I see that someone has something that I really, really want, my dad and mother have told me that I shouldn't just take it or be envious. I can just come to them anytime and ask them, please, I would really want this thing. And if you could buy it for me, I would be like really happy. Like in church the other day, we um, learned about how we asked um, God to provide things for us, like how to pray and things like that. Sorry. And um, I found out that like when we need something from our parents, like for me and my mom, like I just, I can just ask for like, for my dad and me like to have a speech like you know so that he really understands why <laughs> i need it or something like that because like yeah so that's how i just do it and i don't know if it works for anyone out there but that's just how i feel comfortable doing it and also with my mom like my mom does like she doesn't even oh she just gets it like she just quite like she doesn't really care about material things as much as i do like if i see someone wearing like a cool watch and i'm like oh i want one too but like she's like oh <laughs> but but like she, my dad still gives her the things like my mom doesn't really like having like big cars or like a lot of phones or something like that she's just comfortable the way she is mm -hmm. and then my mom and then my dad comes buying her as many phones as she wants and as many things as she wants and 
I'm like, what about me? Like the thing, I like material <laughs> things, but I don't get it. And my mom doesn't like it, but she gets it. Like it's so unfair. But like, just to be honest, when you really love something so much, sometimes it might not come to you. But unless you say that without it or with it, I can still live, mm -hmm. then you just get it. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes. I would just like to add that um, we just need to be grateful. And that is one thing I'm being very intentional about. Be grateful, whatever situation you find you find yourself in, you can be happy without having the whole world. And I used to tell my kids, even when I had no car, I remember I used to, you know, I had a stroller, I had a twin, and Jessica, we, I walk to, you know, I push the children in the stroller to where the bus stop is, and then I take the bus with the stroller on the children. I never lay down for one night and cried, oh, I don't have a car. Uh, I don't even know cars. I don't know like names of cars or names of wristwatches. You know, I hear it from my children. You know, so that's, that's just that contentment I'm talking about. I've never really been envious about things, material things or possessions. When they come, they come, glory be to God. So I just want to urge us, you know, to just be mindful of how envious we are of people that are doing well. And to, to, to top it all, you know, jealous, it starts with jealousy. Jealousy in the beginning might not necessarily be a scene from my study because like husband and wife, I, you can get jealous when you see your husband, you know, the way he's re, um, relating with the lady outside. It's agreeable. It's okay. You know, God and understands that. But when envy, when envy comes in, it's when you start maliciously, you know, there's, mal there's a malicious tendency in you to like, ah, why is she having this? Why is everything going on with my dear brother or sister, the more you are envying that person, the more God is blessing that person. So you better celebrate and rejoice with that person. And thank God for the life of that person. And instead of being envious, you pray that, gosh, please, what you are doing in the life of that person, do in my life. We see several scripture passages. The story of Cain and Abel. Cain was just jealous of Abel's, you know, God was accepting Abel's um, offering. And just out of mere envy, he killed his brother. I mean, how bad can things really get? We might not even naturally kill someone physically, but we can kill their character just because we're envious. We form all sorts of things, we say all sorts of things evil about them just to, um, you know, castigate their names or cause all sorts of things. And this is happening in our society, especially among we women, you know. So I pray the Lord will help us. This is one area we should look at. If you find yourself, you know, comparing your yourself your character your achievement and she has this thing she's bragging a lot and she's rubbing and she's using to show the world this and that that person might not necessarily have the world the way you think i don't have the whole world but if i want to go out and have fun with my children it won't cost me anything to drive to the beach and we buy a bottle of drink ice cream and sit down there by the beach it's not going to take one round then you see the photo on the social media oh she's showing us up and you start getting envious of something that doesn't even cost anything just as jess said you don't need to have, you know, some people are rich and they're not happy. And some people don't have anything and they have that happiness within them. Happiness is free, my brother and sister. Thank God that you are alive. Thank God that you are healthy. Thank God that you have children. Even if you don't have children, thank God that there's one or two things God has gifted you with. And children will still come. If you have a heart of gratitude, you'll be far from envy and malice and jealousy. I pray the Lord will help us to continue check out, checking ourselves and be better in this new year. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for subsequent episodes. Bye. Bye.